Okay, so should you buy the original DJI mic in 2023 now that it is seriously discounted from 329 to 249 Um, Short answer, yes. Long answer, it depends. It depends on a number of things. And I'll tell you, one of my biggest regrets with microphone purchases or non-purchases is the DJI mic. I wish I bought a DJI mic set originally when it came out, when it was first released, because I feel like as an Action 4 owner, as someone who owns an Action 3, that I would have been able to use that mic all this time um, in ways that really would have fit my workflow, as opposed to holding off and waiting uh, until now. But my second regret with the DJI mic is that I didn't buy one last week when they were initially discounted from their original price. So if you didn't know, DJI is going to release their DJI Mic 2 sometime in the very near future. And one of those indicators is that they discounted the original DJI Mic. And it was originally listed as a... Um, MSRP is $329. You can buy a dual transmitter single receiver charging case set for $249. But even more, I was about to buy the single transmitter set at $159. And I didn't. And I seriously regret that. For me, it was a little different because I recently purchased a sit-stand desk and that desk was $158, so it was basically the exact same price as the single transmitter DJI mic set. And so I was going back and forth about which one I really needed the most, and I went with the sit-stand desk because that is what I actually needed. But what I really wanted was the DJI mic. And so for you, if you are, if you've contemplated the DJI mic in the past, um, yeah, I would suggest you buy it right now on Amazon at $249. But, but, don't open it. Don't start using it. If you are at all interested in the DJI Mic 2 until that's released, because the truth is there's the potential for the DJI Mic to become super scarce, to be hard to find, um, at that $249 price point. And um, the truth is, the original DJI mic might be exactly what you need for your content creation and your workflow, as opposed to the DJI mic 2, which could have features that are really geared towards power users or professionals or advanced stuff that you might not want, need, be even interested in incorporating into how you create your content. And so in that case, the DJ, the original DJI mic might be the perfect fit for you and getting it at a $249 price point would be like an absolute steal. For me, all of this speculation about DJI mic 2 uh, is just that speculation, right? We don't know exactly what kind of features it's going to have, what kind of what the charging case will look like, what the transmitter receiver, if you even need them. Um, I know that there'll be 32-bit floating point internal recordings, but some of you may not be on that 32-bit float train yet. It might be too complicated, right? If you are if you are an everyday average content creator who doesn't like to manipulate their audio in post, who doesn't want uh, a complex workflow when it comes to editing audio, who just wants to have a... a reliable wireless mic set that you can plug into your camera, then the original DJI mic might be the actual solution that you need. But we don't really know what the DJI mic 2 is until it gets released sometime, I think, within the next... If not, it wasn't released today, so I think maybe next week, maybe in the next two to three weeks, definitely before, I think, Black Friday because I think that they're going to want to try to get this out for the before the holiday rush so that people can um, 
have that as, a, as an option to purchase. They've already partially released it with the Osmo Pocket 3 in that we know kind of what the transmitter will be like. And I think that the transmitter with the Pocket 3 has a different um, exterior aesthetic than what the full set of the DJI Mic 2 might have. Um, but we don't know. And so for any of you that are on the fence about DJI Mic or DJI Mic 2, and you wanted to purchase a DJI mic or it was on your list of things to upgrade to, um, yeah, my advice is to buy it right now on Amazon because it may not be available once the DJI mic 2 is released at the discounted price point or it might be hard to get. And with Amazon's, with your ability to return things to Amazon with pretty seamlessly, um, I think if you have the funds available to be tied up in a purchase like that, until the release of the new DJI Mic 2, and you can figure out whether or not those, um, the features that it has really work for you. Uh, yeah, if you want one of those sets, buy it now, don't open it, don't use it, hold off until the release of the DJI Mic 2, but know that regardless, you are going to be able to have one of those two sets. Um, and, and you're not like me, and wishing you bought the single transmitter set when it was $159. I mean, that that's going to go down in one of my biggest regrets for not buying something, I think, for a long time. That one hurt um, because I am a solo content creator. I don't really have a strong need for a dual transmitter set or a charging case necessarily. And uh, yeah, man, I really wish I, I had jumped on that deal. So this is my cautionary tale for you right now, you Action 3, Action 4 owners, or anyone who wanted to buy a DJI mic for their phone or um, for your other uses, right? To, if you have the funds to buy it now, hold off on using it. If you are at all interested in the DJI mic 2, see what features are available when that's released, and then you can make a better assessment of whether or not the original DJI mic will work for you or if you want to invest in the DJI mic too and, uh, and then send that bad boy back to Amazon. That's what I would do. But uh, yeah, we're all different. And so hopefully this has helped you. If you're on the fence, lean one way or the other and not miss out on what I think is one of the best deals on the DJI mic that, yeah, that has come around recently. So um, thanks for watching, and we'll talk again real soon.